Who here likes food? Yeah, everybody likes food, right? Not really. Not when you're super ass busy, crazy hungry, and you got nothing to eat. Then you kind of hate food, don't you? You wish you were George Jetson and could take the dinner pill. Well, I'm here to reestablish your love affair with food. I'm going to help you with some tips, some services, and some apps to help you eat better food on a regular basis, which will make you healthy, happier, and more creative. I know about this stuff because I helped build an iPhone app for food photography called Fork. And through that, I became immersed at the intersection between food and technology. The app was actually inspired by my kids, and it's totally changed the way that we eat. Now, I know that you've tried. You probably made a New Year's resolution at some point, rushed down to the farmer's market, bought a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables, only to see it all rot in your fridge. Sound familiar? Then what? Fast food, takeout, pizza, hot pockets. And then you start hating food again. But it doesn't have to be this way. The food technology space is booming. There are a ton of apps and services and social media to help you eat better food on a regular basis. And that's my focus for tonight. But first, there are some basic principles that I think everybody here should really adopt. When in doubt, eat real food. In fact, whenever possible, eat real food. Sarah Adler is a local nutritionist and meal planner, and her company, Simply Real Health, has inspired many people, including me. And she will tell you how eating real food will make you happier, make you healthier, and actually make you look better. She'll also tell you the next time you're in a store looking at a food label, ignore the calorie count, ignore the fat grams, look at the ingredients. If you can pronounce them and actually find them in the store, then go for it. If not, keep looking for another item. You need minerals in your system, right? Like chromium, which helps the body metabolize food and it helps the mind process mood and emotion. And you can get it by eating broccoli, some turkey breast, or a whole wheat English muffin. Now, if you're one of those kind of people that are maybe a little bit lazy, you might try a meal preparation company like Eat Local. Everything is assembled, you just have to pop it in the oven. And apparently you can take your pet moose when you go pick it up. <laughs> if you're a little more ambitious, try a meal planning service like one of these. You still have to do the shopping and the cooking, but the planning and the grocery list building is all done for you. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if that sounds like too much work, you might consider one of these companies in what they call the meal kit space, like plated or blue apron. You select items, and then all the ingredients show up at your door, perfectly measured, and all you have to do is follow the instructions, and voila, you got a home-cooked meal. Want to cook for yourself but need a recipe? As we were building Fork, we asked a ton of people, and the number one source was Google. If you need an idea, you could turn to the Google Zeitgeist from 2013, and you'll be having cronuts for dinner in no time. <laughs> of course, we live in Seattle, so we've got some great recipe companies right here. You probably have heard of all recipes, but if you haven't tried Foodista or Big Oven, they've been around for years. They're really great, and I highly recommend that you give them a look as well. Another good spot for finding recipes and organizing them as Pinterest. Now guys, I know, visiting Pinterest is kind of like walking into a Victoria's Secret. It's a little bit awkward, but just type bacon into the search bar and you will feel at home. A great way to get some more real food into your diet instead of processed food is to make your own stuff. Here's a homemade salad dressing from Sarah Adler that takes about 30 seconds to put together. So even you, Mr. or Ms. Crazy Busy, you have time to make this. Power bowls are great. Take some real food like beans and some fresh vegetables, maybe some rice. Squeeze a little lemon or lime across the top or make your own dressing and boom, you got a great glop of goodness. Super fast, super healthy, totally delicious. You should also get a slow cooker too. You can make a number of great meals with just a couple minutes in the morning. They cook all day while you're at work. Like these pork tacos I made with nothing more than a pork roast, some taco seasoning, and a cup of water. The bottom line is you need a system. A system that works for you and your lifestyle. Your goal should be to eat simple, real food, and you should carve out some time on the weeknights or on a weekend and make a plan and definitely explore some of the services that are available today. And if you need some ideas and you have an iPhone or an iPad and you want to see what me and some other creative people are making, download Fork. Most of the photos you saw tonight are from the app, and by now I'm sure you're all hungry. So happy eating, everybody.